Okay, now we're ready to put the new fabric in to the main tube. Before you do that, I highly recommend filing the edges down so there's no sharp edges that might cut or scrape or pick at the new fabric. Once you're done with that, you simply slide it on. Our new awning came in two pieces, and the only difference that really makes is the valance is separate from the actual awning, and the main tube will be showing when the awning is a fully extended position. And once you've got the awning fabric all the way on, you want to take the poly tubes and bend them over kind of locks it into place to both sides and then you take the other piece the awning valance and slide it on the same way making sure you file off the edges once again so that you don't cut your valance you don't want to ruin your new fabric Once again, once you get your valance centered on the main tube, you want to lock the poly cords in. This kind of keeps the valance in place when you put the torsion assembly back on. Next step is put the torsion assembly in. And once we get that slit all the way in, we're going to make sure that the marks that we made are lined up. We'll turn that till that it matches right up. Then we simply rivet the three holes that we drilled out before and that will hold the torsion assembly in place. And we just slide the other torsion assembly in the other side. Once again, making sure that our marks are lined up. Torsion assembly with the main tube. And we repeat the riveting process on the other side. Now that we got our torsion assemblies riveted back on, we're going to wind the new fabric onto the main tube. Just to keep it off the ground, keep it clean. You want to wind it to about the one to two foot mark, same as you had it when you took it off the RV. Being very careful not to rip it, snag it on anything. Once you have the fabric wound up, the next step is to put the tension back on the torsion assembly. We started with the side with the cam lock. It'll click as you go. Follow the arrows on the end of the cap. Counting the turns as you go. This one had 11 rotations for the correct tension, so once you get it to that position, you want to make sure you hold on to the vice grips until you get the rafter rail in there and the screw in the bottom. This shouldn't be too much of a problem on this side because we have the cam lock, but it could be a problem on the other side because there's no cam lock. Once you get the bolt tightened, we can then move to the other side and repeat the process, counting the number of rotations.
you won't hear the clicking noise on this side because we don't have a cam lock. So you want to be extremely careful to hold on tight to the vice grips until we get the rafter rail put in and the bolt securely tightened. Once you get the bolt secured to the rafter rails, it's time to put the new fabric on the RV. Time we've been waiting for. If you remember, I flared out the ends just to make it slide on easier. I highly recommend putting some electrical tape over the ends, again, so you don't scratch up or cut your new fabric. Next, we're going to feed the poly cord the top rail, and it's best done with someone on a ladder and have two people, one on each rafter rail, kind of guiding the fabric along as the one person on the ladder feeds the cord into the channel top of the RV. We just want to slowly walk the fabric on gently as not to tear it along the top channel. Once you get the awning in place where you want it, centered in the RV, you're going to want to mount your rafter brackets up there. And for that, I highly recommend using some non-leveling lap sealant. Put that around where the top of it is, anywhere there's holes, just to keep the water from penetrating your roof. And we'll go ahead and tighten the two bolts in the rafter brackets, both the one in the back and the one in the front. Make sure they're secure. Once your rafter brackets are tightened up, you want to go ahead and put the screws back in. The poly cord, this will keep your awning fabric from sliding from side to side. This is what our new awning looks like. And the last step is to insert the pull cord so we can pull the awning down. And that's how we replaced our RV awning fabric. An easy repair that if you do it yourself can save you a lot of money. Now the last step we have to do is roll it up and make sure that it's tight. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.